Hello and welcome my pro underwear thieves. How you doing on this wonderful day here? It's Chris, it's Super John Bombo, and we're ready to party with you guys. One thing we want to find out is all about this glue gunner. Can he be used effectively? First of all, the answer is yes. He can be a very, very good tower in your arsenal. He's very powerful. Uh, what you want to do is if you're ever going to go for a glue gunner here, guys, I think the best glue gunner to go for is the balloon solver. But bam! 502. Stronger glue is going to be so much more important than this middle path here. It's going to make it last longer, be, you know, slow these blooms down even more. And, uh,. This middle path, while it does increase the amount of balloons you can hit, that's usually not a big deal. You're never going to be overwhelmed by the balloons. The problem with the glue gunner is that it's a slow reactor. It doesn't just automatically pop these balloons into smithereens. It's going to take some time. So in a map like this, where you have four different times where these balloons can kind of come around and it can re-hit them again, it's actually quite fantastic. But I guess the question then becomes, is can you make this guy more powerful? Now, when you look at all of the other towers in the game, yeah, 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 you get just about anything, any one of these guys. The Taxon in particular, the uh, Grandmaster Ninja, the Archmage, you know, you pop in a nice uh, Apache Prime or something like that. You've got all these towers that can be powered up to the absolute extreme. All you gotta do is overclock them. That's simple. You click a little overclock buddy right here. Well, bam. You get one of these guys really quick. You overclock this guy. He's already usually two times as powerful. All right, then, on top of that, you can make him even more powerful, where you can ultra boost him. If you ultra boost all the way up, you're going to be shooting roughly two times as fast at base, and almost four times as fast while boosting on top of your boosts, right? But then you can also usually alchemize other towers. You can usually get a nice uh, middle path village over here, or maybe even just a simple jungle drums or something like that, and that is going to end up making your towers that much more powerful. So I guess the question is then, is can we do the same thing with the glue gunner? Can we just double his popping power? With the little guy right here, can we quadruple it by ultra boosting him? Can we octuple it by popping down an extra little, uh, you know, middle path village over here? All of those questions are going to be answered in this video for you guys today. And one thing I want you guys to, to, to just notice right now is that the majority of my popping power is being done by uh, actually all of my towers. Um, I don't have anything too expensive here. I think the uh, this guy right here is probably my best tower in the game. He's already got 200,000 pops. But the Bloom Solver, for being in existence for only a little while, is actually doing a pretty good job. He's already got 38,000 pops. All right, and if you notice, you look at this pop count, man, it goes up pretty freaking fast. And then I mean, once you get down to the nitty gritty here, he's going to take them blooms down. He does a pretty good job against BFBs and Bubs, but he's, his expert level attack is from them blooms right there. So what we're going to do, and by the way, check this out. Not only do we pop those balloons, but we slow them down as well, allowing all of our other towers to do a better job. All right, so we're just about there, man. I wanted to save up for $144,000. That means I did have to farm quite heavily here. And this is more of a test experience than anything. Obviously, if you've got $144,000 in most reasonable games, you probably wouldn't buy an ultra-boosting engineer. But for our purposes, it's just that much more fun, right, guys? So let's do that. Let's start ultra-boosting this guy and see what we can do with him. See if he gets that much better. And one thing I'm going to do is I'm actually going to start selling some of my towers here. I'm going to see how well we can do. If I have to continue, I'm going to continue. I want to point that out really quick. If I have to continue, I will continue. But I'm hoping it doesn't come down to that. The only tower that's actually going to get more powerful here is going to be Quincy, which isn't that good of a hero in the first place. So just kind of, like, keep that in mind here. And, of course, we're eventually, after a long time, I'm going to permabrew this guy and see if that does anything for us. And I'm going to be straight with you guys. I don't think it's going to. Um, I don't think the Alchemist affects the glue very much at all. It does give him that little extra range, which is kind of nice. As far as everything else is concerned, um, it doesn't do much. Like, maybe a little bit, but it doesn't do much. Alright, so now reinforced balloons, you can tell, starting to struggle a little bit. And we can get through that BFP layer, we can get through that mob layer. The balloons are actually pretty easy, and we've got to get through those two layers first. And of course, again, with this long-term map here, the glue is doing a delicious job now. Now you can see that pop count really start to kind of uh, shine. Here we go. We're going up to five times here. But what you're, one thing you're noticing is that my glue gunner is taking breaks. He's not even shooting all the time. That's really weird. I mean, most towers, they shoot and they shoot and they shoot and they just shoot some freaking more. This guy's taking some breaks every once in a while. Not because the balloons are out of range, but because he's literally glued all of the balloons that he can. Right now, he's not shooting. 
He's literally already glued the Zomagods. He can't double glue the Zomagods or triple or quadruple glue the Zomagods. They're just already glued. So, I think one thing we're realizing here is that this glue gunner might not be getting that much more powerful. All right, I got to make sure I've got my radar scanner here for round 90. Those DDTs are going to be painful, and I'm honestly not sure if we're going to be able to take them down. I want to be straight with you guys. I don't know. I kind of want to build, like, a, a safety net back here just to, like, make sure. Um, which one's the red hot? Red? Yeah, red hot. I don't use the spike vectors all that much, even though they're really freaking good. As you guys probably know, they're really good. So here's my glue gunner. I think we'll be able to take him down, but I wanted to confirm it. Hopefully this guy's going to get enough stuff up. Uh-oh, and it looks like we do struggle a little bit, but by the end there, those DDTs do get popped. On a very, very long map, they do eventually get taken down here. Um, that's with no extra ninja popping power either, because he does not have full red popping power. In fact, I should probably put this guy on strong at this point, just to help me get rid of those high la high layer blooms, the BFDs, mo uh, mobs, and especially those oh my gods and everything. Especially those reinforced blooms, man. Those guys are the real pain for us. All right. So after all is said and done, man, we're already on eight times boosted here. That's not too shabby. I think it's about that time. Let's throw it down here, man. We're going to go for a permabrew, but what I want to do is I want to do it in a very particular way. I only want to permabrew one tower. I don't want to be changing things around too much here. So let's wait a few seconds. I wish I could just, like, reset my abilities. So we're going to take this guy. We're going to throw him over in this corner here. Uh-oh, DDTs! <gasps> luckily, luckily, man, holy crap, those DDTs are so fast and so strong that we're not able to take them down with our glue gunner here. Hmm, quite scary. It's up to nine times. He's just about to have ten times boost over there. This guy is going to go permabrew. And that should give this guy that permabrew boost. Now we're going to see if that does anything extra for us here. Is that going to do any extra damage? There's a couple other ways that we can do something here. Um, we can continually overclock, and in fact, I think we're done with this guy at this point. I don't need him anymore. At least not for now. Quincy is level 20, though. That's something to keep in mind. Here's up on uh, level uh, round 93 or so. Round 95 now. So we were really struggling against CDTs the last time they came around. Will we be able to take them down this time around? Let's make sure we're overclocking. We do have that, that boost on this guy. Um, and uh, let's see. I mean, I'm rooting for us, obviously. And again, you're noticing the glue gunner, he's got an extreme amount of, of possible attack damage, but it just doesn't matter. He's not shooting any faster. So we are glad that we built this guy. Otherwise, we would have absolutely lost the game already. 100 frickin' percent here, guys. But against these reinforced wounds, we are able to take him down. All right, again, not doing all that much for us. So all these boosts, all of this money that I've spent on this guy has so far been basically worthless. So there's two more boosts that we can get here, guys. Primary training, that's going to boost our glue gunner to give him extra range, a little bit of extra speed here, and I think it also gives some sort of popping power, but I don't know if that's going to affect the glue gunner at all. So we're just going to hope for the best here for that guy. Then you can also go for a call to arms and a homeland defense. It's another way to speed up all of your towers, but not just the glue gunner. It's going to affect all of our towers on the screen, so if we ever run into any issues, I'm going to keep that in mind. We're being helped out here. But overall, am I fairly impressed with the glue gunner? I don't think you need to buff him. If you're going to get any buff whatsoever, pop down an extra primary training so you get that extra range. But besides that, man, the glue gunner is not helped by all these boosts. It's actually kind of upsetting how little he's being helped by all these boosts. Oh, look at all these. I mean, he's got like eight solid boosts. I spent hundreds of thousands of dollars just boosting this glue gunner alone. And oh, man, we might lose here against these guys. He just doesn't attack anymore. I mean, he's getting some pops, you know, slow. But steady, but, but, but it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if we uh, do anything here. So we're going to have to use our extra abilities here to, to, to keep ourselves alive, uh, if, if, it, if it even helps. I don't know. We're going to try boosting Quincy with an extra boost there. We're going to use this thing as well. We're going to see if that's going to help us out here and clean these guys up. With Quincy's ability, it looks like, but bam, we do take him down here for round 97. Now, round 98 is another tough one for us, but I think we'll be able to take him down without too many issues. The glue is fantastic on round 98 here, guys. Fantastic. Not unstoppable, but fantastic nonetheless. Lots of blues trying to sneak through, but with these guys in the back here, I think we're feeling pretty good about it, right? All right. Get our extra boosts happening over here. Looks like we got to use some 
arrow spray as well. I don't want all of my perma spikes to be gone for round 99, so we're going to need it for sure for round 99. Those DDTs, there's no way we're taking them down with regular glue gunner action or anything like that. they got to be stopped by this guy. Luckily, they do. And again, for round 100, the glue gunner just doesn't do much. He's attacks once, and then you're slowly going to see this pop count go up. And it's just not going to do much, though. You know, Quincy's really doing all the damage here, man. Quincy and then our ninja, surprisingly enough, are doing all the damage. Though I am actually impressed that uh, they're doing this much damage. Quincy's ability, though, is insane. Oh my god, dude. That's good. Especially when you power him up with, like, an overclock. And this thing, oh my god, dude, that thing's amazing. And there it is. So what do we learn from this video? Glue gunners are not meant to be buffed. We still did end up beating this one, but it's not because of our glue gunner. Um, being overclocked or anything, it's because we had a glue gunner, which is already on a good easy map for us, that does a good amount of damage, and we used our other support towers to kind of keep us alive here. Quincy, honestly, the boss of the day, man, he really kept us alive there. With those extra boosts like that, he's going to keep us in this game. So if you guys enjoyed this wonderful glue gunner video, make sure you press that like button for me. Subscribe if you have not, and have a super duper delicious day.